What is up there, Workforce? Chris here with work to game and you may have an alt that is stuck at a certain level range, and you just don't know how to level anymore. So I'm going to go through a series of level ranges, kind of 1 to 70, and I'm just going to list things off and kind of talk a little bit about what you should be doing and what your alternatives are, because sticking to just the most optimal method, especially with so many classes on one character, can get really boring. And so dropping to maybe the second or the third option on the list may make the game just a little more fun. So on 1 to 50, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do your main storyline quest and your job quest on your main. But after that, now what? Keep doing your job quests every five levels. Um, but now you're going to want to talk about Deep Dungeon 1 to 50. You're talking about Palace of the Dead and then also dungeons, especially if you're a tank or a healer, because that's a chance to learn how you play in group content, um, especially with that class, because you don't really learn that in single player content. Um, and then mostly doing that through your roulette. Go ahead and do your guild has roulette, your daily leveling roulette and so on. Anything available to you. Now, if after this you're still bored, um, I would say go out and look for a fate train. There could be one in Party Finder, especially now with World Visit. People could go run fates and stuff together. Uh, and then also PvP, like Frontlines is really great experience. So don't hesitate to go run PvP. As soon as you're level 30, you can jump in and there isn't like gearing and different brackets. Everybody level 30 and above is all just thrown in together with the exact same skills, the exact same stats. So just go in there and have fun. Now you've made it to 50, you've cleared a Realm Reborn 2.0. We're moving into Heaven's Word 3.0. You've got a class stuck between 51 and 59. So you're, you're kind of pushing, you're trying to just get to 60. So you're still looking at the exact same progression. You want to finish that main story quest. You want to finish your job quests. But after that, you're now looking at kind of going through Palace of the Dead again. I mean, that's that's really it. You're still looking at 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 the same thing. You're looking for the same dungeons, you're looking for fates and front lines, but now within dungeons, you could very easily have like a main scenario roulette, you could have other things like that. So just go ahead and knock out all your roulettes. At this point, if you have not done any of the battle leaves, uh, one to 50, I know there were still a lot of battle leaves, so you can definitely feel free to do that then. Um, but 51 to 59, I think it's it's relatively quick. Uh, 51 to 59 is also where I would question, you know, 1 to 50, if you didn't go back and do any beast tribes during that, make sure you're knocking out beast tribes uh, and that you're starting to do things like hunts. Um, the experience gains get a lot bigger in here, so make sure that you've got as many uh, food buffs, you've got your rested, you've got like as many things going on, like uh, maybe if you're part of an FC, they can throw up an experience buff for you, uh, so on and so forth. Now you've made it to 60. You've made it all the way through Heaven's Word content and you're getting into Stormblood. 60 to 70, you still want to clear your main story and your job quests first. You still want to do dungeons, fates, front lines. We're talking about Heaven on High. Um, Heaven on High is basically the new Palace of the Dead. That'll change things up for you. Uh, and go ahead and knock out the new Beast Tribes. Those are really great. Uh, you no longer have Battle Leaves. So if you want to do those sooner, go ahead and knock that out. There, there really aren't any Battle Leaves. There's a lot of great... If you're trying to level up your, your gatherers or whatever, those are amazing. But at this point, you've, you've lost all those. But you've got all the roulettes available to you except the very in-game roulettes. Make sure you're knocking out you know, some trials and things like that. And and that will get you into current content. I'm filming this at the end of Stormblood, assuming this is, is Shadowbringers that we're talking about now. Now you've got somebody 70 to 80 without having seen the content yet. I'm assuming knock out your main story quest, knock out your job quest, do the very same roulettes. I don't see them changing anything. We could see some change to the way this is leveled up with the trust system. Um, if you need the command system along the way before with squadrons, that's fine, but it's a little clunky in my opinion uh, compared to what I'm hoping the trust system would be where I can like, swap one of the NPCs out for a friend or something like that. Um, and at, at this point, that's really it. Um, make sure that throughout all of this, you've got your experience gear. Um, so you can do this by, there's like a friendship ring or whatever that you get um, from like recruiting a friend. You get uh, a brand new ring that you get from doing the Hall of Anonymous at level 15, and that gets you to level 30 or below. Keep in mind that any experience granting item that says add a level, it's the level that you currently are. And what I mean by that is that if you're level 31 and you go run a level 27 dungeon and it sinks you down, that ring goes back into taking effect. Um, and then Alamegan earrings, uh, which you got for pre-ordering Stormblood, and then I believe we're, it's a different set of earrings for Shadowbringers, um, and so pre-ordering and stuff like that. It, anywhere that you can get an item that boosts experience, make sure that that item takes priority when leveling up alts. Uh, so that is about it. That That's really the core of this. So just to kind of refresh, you're always doing your main story, 
as much as possible and your job quest as much as possible. Those are like equal priority. Down from that, you want to do as many roulettes, challenge log. You want to do as many roulettes as possible. Then you want to talk about challenge log, um, which is a great way to just get a bunch of bonus experience. And then I would do fates and hunts. I kind of group those as the same thing because after a certain, like fates are really hard to find groups for. Uh, fates and hunts. And then I would do... Um, Probably beast tribes for source of experience because it's really straightforward what you need to do. And then last of all, I would do um, your PvP. Uh, in the mix of roulettes, I think just above roulettes and before MSQ, I would put uh, Deep Dungeon, which is your Palace of the Dead and Heaven on High. But the reason I didn't list that in the first time through is that that's the most optimal method. But in my opinion, it is the most repetitive, boring method possible. Those others all offer a ton of variety. You're out in the world. You're seeing things. You're killing things. It's fun. Palace of the Dead and Heaven on High is a grind and you just have to do it. And you just got to sit in there and just crank it out. Um, so if you can do that, do your main story, do your job quest, go into Deep Dungeon. You'll have all your classes leveled in no time. No need to touch roulettes. No need to touch fates, hunts, beast tribes, challenge logs, hunting logs. None of it. You need none of that. You can literally just farm Deep Dungeon. But I think that you're going to find that that is so painful. It's so painful. Um, so especially doing your roulettes when there's still a daily bonus. So that first leveling roulette of the day, that first guild test of the day, that first, you know, doing that stuff, that's definitely worth it. So if you can log it, logging in once per day, seven days in a row is better than logging in seven times as long one day a week from an experience standpoint. So I hope this helps. I hope this kind of helps you just get out of that rut, get that last thing leveled before Shadowbringers, or maybe now we're in Shadowbringers, uh, at the time of this filming, we're not. And it's that, that last push that you need to get that second class up or that third class up or the one you've always wanted to try, um, especially as we talk about more classes being added to the game. There's always that reason of, oh man, I should really get around to leveling Red Mage or I should definitely level up my Dancer. And and how what is the best way to do that? So my name is Chris with work to game Have a fantastic day and I will see you next time. Oh, uh, excuse me. Um, What's up, Workforce? Chuck here telling you, you should totally like, favorite, subscribe, share, Dance, raise your hands in the air. I'm off camera. I'm off frame. I'm new at this. I'm, hey, hey, listen. You, yes. You haven't hit that subscribe button. You totally should. I recommend it. Chuck approved. Anyway, also, thanks to all the Patreons. You're in the corners. Whoa!